in this video we will talk about absorption spectrum and action spectrum okay let us write down it absorption spectrum absorption spectrum kisi substance ka hota hai for example dekho photosynthetic pigments there is a chlorophyll a chlorophyll b or carotenoids ये सब पिगमेंट्स है और पिगमेंट्स का जो कैरेक्टर है वो वी ऑल नो दिस दैट इट हैज एबिलिटी टू एब्सॉर्ब लाइट एट स्पेसिफिक वेवलेंथ्स सन से जो वेवलेंथ्स एमिट होगा जो रिलीज होता है एज सनलाइट इसमें एक पैकेज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव रहता है लेकिन वो सारे वेव क्लोरोफिल ए एब्सॉर्ब नहीं कर सकता है क्लोरोफिल बी भी सारे वेव्स नहीं एब्सॉर्ब कर सकता है एक स्पेसिफिक रेंज है वन स्पेसिफिक वेबलेंथ का रेंज होता है उस वेबलेंथ का रेंज में जो वेब आएगा उसको ही सिर्फ ये एब्सॉर्ब कर सकता है सिर्फ वो लाइट ही एब्सॉर्ब कर सकता है तो क्लोरोफिल ए जिस रेंज का वेबलेंथ का लाइट एब्सॉर्ब करेगा वो होगा उसका एब्जॉर्बन स्पेक्ट्रम सिमिलरली फॉर क्लोरोफिल बी एंड कैरेटनॉइड सो बेसिकली यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दैट ये जो एब्जॉर्बन स्पेक्ट्रा है ये होता है किसी एक सबस्टेंस का ओके okay? लाइक एज पिगमेंट्स का होता है और कई भी सब्सटेंस वो जो लाइट एब्सॉर्ब कर सकता है वो उसका अपना एब्जॉर्बन स्पेक्ट्रा है और एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रा क्या है देखो एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रा लेकिन कोई सब्सटेंस का नहीं होता है ये एक प्रोसेस का होता है जैसा देखो फोटोसिंथेसिस सन से जो लाइट आते हैं जो इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेब्स का जो पैकेज आते हैं सारे पैकेज सारे इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेब में फोटोसिंथेसिस एक्टिव नहीं रहता है फोटोसिंथेसिस का ऑकरेंस नहीं होता है ओनली यू नो देर इज अबलेंथ रेंज विच यू कॉल पार फोटोसिंथेटिकली एक्टिव रेडिएशन विच इज 400 टू 700 हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर ओनली इन दिस रेंज द लाइट विच आर इन बिटवीन दिस फोर हंड्रेड एंड सेवन हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ दैट लाइट फोटोसिंथेसिस विल बी एक्टिव तो ये एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रम फोटोसिंथेसिस का होता है तो ये एक प्रोसेस का होता है जिस वेबलेंथ में जिस लाइट में जिस एनर्जी में वो प्रोसेस एक्टिव रहेगा वो प्रोसेस चलेगा हम बोल सकते हैं कि वो उसका एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रा है सो एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रा होगा किसका ना फोटोसिंथेसिस का एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रा होगा फोटोसिंथेसिस का एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रा होगा देखो इधर ये जो 400 नैनोमीटर टू 700 नैनोमीटर ये विजिबल लाइट स्पेक्ट्रा का रेंज है यही फोटोसिंथेटिकली एक्टिव रेडिएशन है तो इनमें से क्या होता है कि ये 400 टू 700 नैनोमीटर का बीच में जो भी वेबलेंस है उन सारे वेबलेंस में फोटोसिंथेसिस का रेट सिमिलर नहीं होता है किसी वेबलेंथ में क्या होता है किसी रेंज वेबलेंस में इन बिटवीन दिन की फोटोसिंथेसिस हायर होता है किसी में कम होता है ये सब हम डिस्कस करेंगे दैट विल बी अवर एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रम ओके लेट अस डिस्कस फर्स्ट द एब्जॉर्बन स्पेक्ट्रम एंड आल्सो वी विल डिस्कस इट इन वन ग्राफिकल मेथड एज इट इज गिवन इन आवर एनसीईआरटी बुक ओके सो विद वाचिंग दिस वीडियोस यू हैव टू आल्सो लुक ऑन योर एनसीईआरटी बुक्स फॉर द ग्राफ्स आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ दोस ग्राफ्स लेट अस नो सी with graphical representation about the absorption spectrum of different photosynthetic pigments okay and we will demonstrate it with the help of graphs ha huh? so we are drawing one graph one 2d graph we are writing and this x axis this will represent wavelengths of light वेबलेंस ऑफ लाइट इन नैनोमीटर ओके इट विल बी नैनोमीटर एंड दिस वाई एक्सिस दिस विल रिप्रेजेंट एब्जॉर्शन ऑफ लाइट बाय क्लोरोप्लास्ट पिगमेंट ओके वाई वी आर राइटिंग क्लोरोप्लास्ट बिकॉज बेसिकली वी नो दैट ऑल द फॉर सिंथेटिक पिगमेंट इज प्रेजेंट in the chloroplast chloroplast pigments we know that there is a 
photosynthetic active radiation that is 400 to 700 nanometer we are just writing that suppose this is 400 this is 500 this is 600 and this is 700 to understand it easily we will draw some dotted lines okay so let us draw some dotted lines in this way, कुछ dotted line हम लोग लिख लेते हैं। चलो, first we will discuss about the absorption spectrum of chlorophyll A, okay? Chlorophyll A, and we have to know that chlorophyll A has two absorption peak. What is the absorption spectrum peak? It means chlorophyll A has a wider range of wavelengths which it absorbs. That is its absorption spectrum. But in some particular wavelengths, it absorbs light maximum. That will be called as absorption peak. Chlorophyll A has two absorption peak. Okay, that is in 430 nanometer and 662 nanometer okay so let us find out the points 430 nanometer this is 400 lines and this is 500 so in between this this will be 450 we require 430 this will be somewhere in this place so this is one peak this is one peak and another one peak we have in 662 nanometer okay so we will get it in this region 662 so this region uh, will be 650 so 666 662 will be somewhere in this region remember the chlorophyll a there is two peak is dono peak mein se chlorophyll a ka ab absorption ka jo amount jitna amount ka light absorb karte hai wo is region mein jada hai 400 to 500 region you know this region actually is 400 to 450 this will be violet and this will be blue okay this will be blue this will be violet this this region will be violet this region will be blue okay and this 500 to 550 this will be green and 550 to 600 this will be yellow 600 to 650 this will be orange and 650 to 700 this will be red okay so this is in the red region and this is near about blue region in the blue region remember that chlorophyll a absorbs maximum amount of light in the blue region so as this y axis is indicating the amount of light it absorbs chlorophyll a absorbs less amount of light in this peak so the height here will be lower than this so write it in this way it is somewhere here okay not it will be exactly horizontally not it will be exactly in one horizontal line it will be lower than it so these are two peak we have got it now chlorophyll a let us see the graph in which chlorophyll a has its absorption spectra In this way, here is the peak, then there will be one decline, straight decline and this decline will be lowest near about this region, 450 region. Then it will be very lower. Remember in this green and yellow region, absorption of light is near about 0. Let us draw it in a little bit different way okay now here in this way this is the graphical representation of the absorption spectrum of chlorophyll a you can see that maximum amount this is blue region and this is red region so chlorophyll a absorbs maximum amount of light in blue region 
and next to red region and in this middle region especially in the green and yellow region its absorption is near about zero okay minimum so this graph is for chlorophyll a okay this is for chlorophyll a now let us see what will be the absorption spectrum of chlorophyll b okay chlorophyll b we have to also remember that the chlorophyll b has also two peak point okay two peak absorption point one is 452 nanometer and another one is 642 nanometer let us find first that two point so one is 452 nanometer so this point will be near about 450 and the, near about this will be 452 remember also that in this region how much amount of light will be absorbed by chlorophyll a chlorophyll b will absorb more amount than chlorophyll a okay so here the height for chlorophyll b will be much higher than chlorophyll a chlorophyll a ka jo height tha usse bahut upar hoga so ye point actually kuch upar hoga idhar hoga for example so this is one peak point another one peak point is in 642 nanometer so if it is 650 uh, somewhere this will be 642 nanometer again remember that in this region chlorophyll b will absorb less amount of light than chlorophyll a okay so here this point will be slightly lower than the chlorophyll a's point so this will be somewhere here okay there will be the point so these are two peak points for chlorophyll b now let us draw the axon spectrum it is somehow like this and in the side it will show a clear cut decline okay it will show one clear cut decline and in this point it will be added and here also so this red colored graph this is showing the absorption spectrum for chlorophyll b okay so you can compare now between the difference about the difference of these two absorption spectrum chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b now let us draw the absorption spectrum of carotenoids okay for carotenoid we are using green color carotenoid it has a wider range of absorption spectrum from, from 400 nanometer to 500 nanometer or 550 nanometer in some cases okay so let us draw it it will be in this way here will be one absorption peak and here will be another one absorption peak okay uh, to avoid the complications we are removing this dotted lines remove this dotted lines because it, it may cause complications to understand okay we have removed it now this graph will be like this okay this green colored this green colored graph this is showing the absorption spectrum for carotenoids this is for carotenoids okay we are removing this dotted lines so these are the absorption spectrum of different photosynthetic pigments now i want to ask you one question that in which light you can see here in which light the absorption spectrum is maximum combining all the pigments that is see in this region in this blue region okay the absorption of blue light is maximum and also in this region in this 
red region. So two region is very much important for photosynthesis. Two color of light. One is red, another one is blue. The most important is blue and next to it is, is red. So this blue and red light is maximally absorbed for photosynthesis okay so this is the graph Car sorry carotenoids and there will be nanometer now analyze this this graph and we have here violet blue or indigo this has been actually merged according to your physics ncrt book in your physics ncrt book in this way data has been given i am just copying that this is blue or indigo okay now see in which region the chlorophylls absorb which colored light is absorbed maximum by the chlorophylls that is this region okay and next to that is that and this region there is a very little amount of light absorption so if we arrange them into descending order how it will be blue or indigo its absorption is maximum and next to that is red and next to that what will be violet see this region this violet region there is also absorption rate is little much high okay then orange see this region orange in this region also absorption has been occurred and then yellow and the minimum amount of light which will be absorbed that is green okay in photosynthesis green color is less absorbed that's why the color of the pigments chlorophyll a chlorophyll b and the color of the leaves is generally green because green light is not absorbed rather it is reflected okay but in case of this carotenoids, their color is yellow or yellow orange. So their absorption is near about zero here. And there is no question about red because that is not going there. Okay. So their color is violet, orange. Uh, so sorry. So their color is so their color is yellow, orange, or reddish type. So this is the absorption absorption spectra. So this is the absorption spectra of different for synthetic pigments is graph say different type of questions are sakte like in one famous question here he a graph exam pe aega fir pucha jayega ki kaun sa graph kisko represent karta hai kaun sa graph represent karta hai chlorophyll a ko kaun sa b ko kaun sa c ko to ek simple ideas hai ki dekho yahan se dekhoge jo first aega ek dam pehle aega jo first the first graph will represent for chlorophyll A okay and the second aega second will represent for chlorophyll B and uske baad dekho chlorophyll B ke baad jo aega isko chhod do kyunki ye chlorophyll B ke andar hi hai uske baad jo peak aega that line will be for carotenoids okay and iske carotenoids ka first word kya hai C hai so these will be A B C okay first jo aega ekdam ye y axis se jo first hai that is for chlorophyll A जो सेकंड है वो क्लोरोफिल बी और जो थर्ड आएगा दैट इज फॉर कैरेटनोइड्स और एक तरीका है तुम याद रख सकते हो लेकिन ये थोड़ा सा बंगाली वाला है देखो इधर से देखोगे सबसे आगे जो है आगे सबसे पहले जो है ये जो सबसे पहले जो आगे है दैट इज फॉर क्लोरोफिल ए सबसे बड़ा जो पिक है सबसे बड़ा दैट इज फॉर क्लोरोफिल बी एंड जो एम सेप्ट है जो एम सेप्ट दैट इज फॉर क्लोरोफिल sorry for carotenoids so you in this way you can remember which graph represents which pigment okay sabse aage jo hoga wo for chlorophyll a sabse bada jo peak hoga wo for chlorophyll b and jo m shaped hoga jo half hoga that is for carotenoids now let us see about the action spectrum of photosynthesis so one thing should be clear to you all ki dekho jis wavelengths mein एब्जॉर्प्शन ज्यादा होगा एब्जॉर्प्शन होगा तो लाइट अवेलेबल रहेगा एनर्जी अवेलेबल रहेगा उस वेवलेंथ का आसपास ही एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रम ज्यादा होगा ये बहुत एक सिंपल आइडिया है कि जहां एब्जॉर्प्शन ज्यादा होगा वहां एक्शन ज्यादा होगा 
जहां एब्जॉर्बेशन का रेट बहुत कम होगा वहां फोटोसिंथेसिस का रेट भी कम होगा तो जैसे देखो और ये भी याद रखो कि क्लोरोफिल ए दैट मीन दिस ग्राफ दिस ग्राफ रिप्रेजेंट फॉर क्लोरोफिल ए ओके क्लोरोफिल ए इज द मेजर पिगमेंट एंड दिस इज द पिगमेंट विच एक्चुअली कॉजेज which is actually responsible for photosynthesis rest other chlorophyll b carotenoids or xanthophylls those are accessory pigments okay those pigments also absorb light but they transfer those light energies to chlorophyll a to the reaction center and finally it is chlorophyll a which determines the action of photosynthesis okay so if we draw another one graph it will be mostly related to chlorophyll a okay as that is the major pigment and you can see the regions in this region absorption of light is very high in this region also but in this region absorption of light is near about zero so obviously the action spectrum will be in this region and in this region and here it will be very much low and the absorb the curve of the absorption spectra will be around chlorophyll a okay because that is the main pigment so if we now draw the curve for action spectra what it will look like in this curve what it was it was absorption rate here it was wavelength okay so we are drawing another curve another in another graph for action spectra suppose this is the graph this is again the wavelengths of light in nanometer okay and here in this y axis we will choose rate of photosynthesis and it will be measured by release of oxygen okay here we are choosing a rate of photosynthesis a rate of photo synthesis and it is being measured by release of oxygen okay so here again we are doing the same thing suppose this is 400 this is 500 then this will be 600 and this will be 700 so i have told you earlier that the curve will be around chlorophyll a okay because chlorophyll a is the major pigment so we are again writing some dotted lines we know that chlorophyll a has two peak okay one is 430 and another one is 662 so one is 430 so this will be somewhere here and another one is 662 so that will be 662 will be somewhere here and you all know that in this region in this red region absorption of light is lower than in blue region so this point will be slightly lower suppose here so if i now draw the axon spectra curve it will be like as in this way in this region action of photosynthesis a photosynthesis rate will be lower here it will be lower okay this will be the action spectra of photosynthesis and this will be the curve here you can see this blue region curve will be slightly higher than the peak in this red region because we know that photosynthesis occurs maximum in blue light okay but in some cases it is also found in for some plants that in red light photosynthesis occurs maximum so we can say that in red and blue light photosynthesis occurs maximum okay so if one option we have to choose then we will choose blue light but in some answers also in some books or somewhere uh, for some plants you may found that Uh, the maximum photosynthesis occurs in red but according to our ncert and according to this graph which is given in our book it is blue light in whose presence the rate of photosynthesis is maximum